Passover is coming up really soon, and I know a lot of people are worried about what to do, but there is an old Yiddish expression for don't worry, it's going to be okay. Uh, just kidding, there is no Yiddish expression whatsoever that starts with don't worry. We are so good at worrying, it's part of what we do, and it's worked for a long time. But I want you to think about Passover in a really positive and good way, even though things are very difficult right now. So I'm going to share some spiritual ideas about Passover, and I'm going to share some practical ideas as well. Uh, the first is to keep in mind that the very first Seder that the children of Israel celebrated was while they were still in Egypt. They hadn't yet been freed. They didn't really know what was going to happen. They had to celebrate a holiday while they were still slaves, while they were still in captivity, but it was their ability to visualize being free that was so powerful. Uh, the word for Egypt in Hebrew is Mitzrayim, which means the narrow place. And I know that all of us are feeling more and more narrow, more constricted, not knowing what's going to happen. But again, our strength as a people is that no matter what is going on in our lives, we can see ourselves as having left those very narrow, very difficult places. And that's why we're still here today, to be able to celebrate Passover. I know a lot of you are worried about what to do in terms of Passover foods. Uh, I would say the rule of thumb this year is do your best, do what you can safely. Avoid things that are actually chametz. And these are cooked products that are made out of wheat, rye, barley, oats, and spelt. Those are the only things that actually become chametz. Now, I know some of you are asking, what about rice? What about lentils? What about legumes? Those things can never, ever become chametz. In the Ashkenazic world, there was a ban on these items because they could be made into products that look like chametz, but they are never chametz, which means that if someone had come into your house during Passover, with a whole bowl full of rice and spread it all over your dishes, it wouldn't make your dishes invalid for Passover. Again, in the Sephardic world, in almost all of Israel, they eat uh, rice and lentils and other legumes during this time. So if you are going to do that, and this is something that the conservative movement has signed off on as well, just uh, buy it uncooked and uh, soak it and cook it yourself in your Passover dishes. Uh, things like dairy products uh, don't require a special hexure as long as the only thing in it is dairy. And that's with uh, a number of uh, other kinds of products, uh, your meat products, things like that. But again, what I want you to focus on is the spirit of the holiday. Do your best. You know, have matzah, you know, have all your favorite recipes that you can possibly make. But if you are not able to get out and say get new cinnamon, use the cinnamon you have. It's going to be okay. And other sort of things like that. Uh, I am certainly available for questions. We're going to send out things that are more specific. But I want us to really focus on the idea of liberating ourselves, freeing ourselves spiritually, freeing ourselves intellectually, so we can look forward to when the, we can sort of reemerge into the wider world, when we can connect to each other, and to realize that we are descended from people who've gotten through really, really tough things. This is why I love being part of the Jewish community. We have a powerful history of getting through tough things together. Jews around the world feel connected and we support each other spiritually, emotionally, even if we can't be together. So Passover is coming up. I know you're worried about how we're gonna connect. We're going to do virtual sadarim. We're gonna to try to find a way to connect families with each other. Uh, this is very unusual. Um, all around the world, Jews are gonna be doing their Seder online. They're gonna do it through Zoom, through FaceTime. Um, if you want to have an excuse to not connect to certain people, you can say you're just not using technology, but uh, hopefully that isn't the case. But what I really do hope is that this Passover reminds us of our capacity for happiness, for joy, and celebration, even in difficult and unusual times.